Now, Wall Street may be losing altitude, but Air New Zealand is embracing it. Altitude Aerospace Interiors is a new company launched by Air New Zealand. It will provide customised interior designs for commercial planes and business jets. Tony Field was in Seattle at Boeing headquarters, where the airline briefed reporters about its plans. With competition in the skies tougher than ever, Air New Zealand believes one way to boost its revenues is on the ground. It's setting up its own company to compete in the global aircraft interior design business. We're very excited by it. It's, you know, it's a brilliant business opportunity. Where else and do you get to uh, build luxury furniture by, while also playing in you know, the, the world's high-tech industry of uh, global you know, jet aviation? So yeah, this is brilliant and we're doing it in New Zealand because we can. The airline believes it can compete because of the experience its staff have already gained, providing interiors for the premium cabins in the airline's 747s and 777s. Air New Zealand boss Rob Fife says airline staff did the work themselves after everyone else said the deadlines were too tight. We said, well, bugger it, we're going to build some of our own capabilities here. We're going to build our own interiors, our own coat closets, because we think we can make some, some pretty cool stuff. And not just coat closets. These images show some of the designs the Altitude staff have come up with. The designs not only have to look good, but they have to be safe as well. They've also got to be able to handle up to nine times their fully loaded weight um, structurally. Altitude staff will design the interiors in Auckland and many of them will be built and installed in Christchurch. Air New Zealand says there are only a few players in a sector in which demand is outstripping supply. You could go and buy a business jet today. If you want to get an interior put in that business jet, the waiting list is four years. Huge opportunities. But Altitude's competitors are also providing some exciting designs. Take a look at these interiors for the Boeing Dreamliner. Altitude's Michael Purvin believes his team has an advantage. The isolation creates, uh, creates a, a can-do attitude. You put a bit of uh, high-tech uh, analysis on top of that, and the next thing we discovered, you know, we could do things a bit quicker than, you know, the more conservative and more pedestrian uh, com competition out there. Although there are a few players in this market, Altitude's the only one in the Asia Pacific region. Having Altitude come on board uh, to do BBJ completions will be a great asset to both Boeing and our customers. Although much of Altitude's initial work will be in providing customised refits for commercial planes, the company believes its greatest potential lies in the private jet market. But with world economies slowing, is this a good time to be launching a business fitting out private planes? We've gone out there and looked at the, the financial markets and the cost of fuel, and we think on the business jet side of it, um, you know, our customers uh, tend to be, uh, to an extent, above the storm, and for them... A lot of them even own the oil well, so it's not so much of an issue. The airline says over half of the world's business jets are owned by billionaires who should be able to ride out the financial uncertainty. Tony Field there, and did you notice the TB3 private plane there? <laughs> yes. That's the one you're taking to China tomorrow, isn't it, Michael? That's right, yes. yes. Travelling in Personal style over flight. there? Very <laughs> nice. Have you had the odd trip in the TB3 private plane? Yes, the, they're called the Gin Palace in the Sky. <laughs> <laughs> We're allowed to dream, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Mm. Yeah. Thanks, Michael.